Hey everyone, welcome to TechWired. In this video, we are going to solve problem number 1431, kids with the greatest number of candies. First, we'll see the explanation of the problem statement, then the logic and the code. Now let's dive into the solution. So here I've taken the first example from the Likud website. So here we are given two inputs. One is candies array. And next we have a variable called extra candies, right? So we need to return a array of boolean values, right? So basically we are given the ith kit. For example, this is the zeroth kit, and that particular kid has two candies, right? Now I will give three candies that the extra candies to this kid. So this kid will be having five candies right now after giving the extra candies, right? Now I need to check whether this particular value 5 is greater than equal to of the maximum value in the given input that is the given candies input right the maximum value in the candies input is 5 so now the zeroth kid has 5 candies after giving the extra candies and this is greater than or equal to the maximum value in the given input so if this is true i will return true for that particular kid, right? So we are going to solve this problem in order of n time and with a constant space, right? Now we will see how we are going to do this. So first, initially I will pick the maximum value from the given candies input. So that is five, right? Now I will pick the ith kid. So the zeroth kid has two candies and I will add extra candies that is 3 and it will be 5 right now I need to check whether it is greater than equal to the maximum value yes this is true right so I will just replace the value with a boolean value true right now I will pick the next candy that is 3 so I will add the extra candies as well so this will be 6 is greater than equal to 5 so this is true, right? So I will replace that particular value with boolean value true, right? And next I will pick the candy 5. Then I will add the extra candies 3. Then I'm going to get 8. This is also greater than or equal to 5. This is also true. I will replace true. Then I will pick 1. And I will add the extra candies. And this will be 4, right? This is not true. So I will replace that particular value with false. Then I will pick 3. I will add 3 again. So it's going to be 6 greater than or equal to 5. Yeah, it's true. So I will replace that particular value with true. Then finally, I will return the candies input itself, right? That's all the logic is. Now we will see the code. So before we code, if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel, please like and subscribe. This will motivate me to upload more videos in future and also check out my previous videos and keep supporting guys. So initially, I will pick the maximum candy from the given input. Right. Then I will iterate through the input array. That is the candy's input. Right. Now I will check whether if the current candy after adding the extra candies as well, whether it is greater than equal to the maximum candy in the input. If this is true, I will replace the current candy that is the ith candy with true. Else the current candies that is the ith candy will be false, right? Then finally, I will just return the candies input. That's all the code is. Now we will run the code. As you guys see, it's pretty much efficient. So the time complexity is order of n and space will be constant space. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please like, share and subscribe. This will motivate me to upload more videos in future. Also check out my previous videos and keep supporting. Happy learning. Cheers guys.